Oh, hey, check this tiny car. I drove to Tucson, Arizona, a couple towns over from Phoenix, Arizona, where we live, and I didn't bring the bread truck. I rolled with my friends, Dan and Elisa, and that behind us is Bookman's. You might have noticed over the last week of episodes or so, I've been uh, kind of trading a couple things in at our buy sell trade store called Bookman's. Well, this town that we've driven to has how many Bookman's are here in town? There's three Bookman's here in town. And we have how much, Anna, in store credit? Ooh, like 250 We got $250 of store credit to buy. Now, this is important because we just hit 10,000 subs and we're about to have 3,000 video games. So the goal today is to buy a few good games today and hit 3,000 video games in our collection. So stick around, we're gonna make that happen. What are you guys looking for before we get started? No idea, but we'll Beauty find it. Games. <laughs> yes, Beauty Beauty games. Beauty games would be nice. Tell them before we start, you're how many away from a complete collection? 13. 13 Vita games <laughs> away from a complete collection. So like, you'll be happy if you just go home with one, oh, right? yeah, totally. All right, high fives before we get started. You didn't have to jump. <laughs> she, she got up there. All right, <laughs> she did jump. You guys stick around, this is gonna be good. doing today going to these bookman stores we've done this together with our friends like four or five times now and every time we do it we kind of have the same path we take we started this bookman's and i always get a little nervous because i have a couple hundred dollars to spend in store credit and i don't want to spend it all in the first place so there's a good potential i'll find something here awesome and then leave it behind and maybe we have to rush back i don't know what do you got so what am i looking at Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Oh, it's like a Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, That's Japanese. So cool. You want? I'll buy it for you right now. Baby. <laughs> Get those receipts out. Let's see the receipts. We got the golden tickets. Legal tender, baby. Did you just find four? <laughs> they're all Japanese, oh. so they're not on so, the list. So they don't count. They don't count. Are you going to get them anyways? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start. You guys want to see me make it rain? <laughs> don't lose them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have four of them. I thought we only yeah. had three. 250 bucks, baby. Oh. I think you might want to add it up again. I might have made some of the some of that up. Whoa. It has a steel edition? We have it, but we don't have a steel book. How much is it? Too much. <laughs> 60. Yeah, that's too much. Forgot uh, we have two different versions of already. That, that makes this store way differ from our store, the fact they put a $60 game out here. 260 you said? 263. 263. Let's spend it all right now. I mean, I'm a little glad that we're going to be spending it, so now I don't have to panic that I lose it. <laughs> you don't have to check your wallet for it every three minutes. In the course of your perusing, keep an eye out for any uh, Digimon, what else do I like? Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster, Monster, Monster Rancher. I'll buy any of that stuff right now. There's usually Monster Rancher in the GBAs here. Yeah, I've got those. I, I wouldn't buy those again unless they're in box. I have all oh, the GBA okay. ones. Uh, but this Fantasy Star looks great. Part of me is kind of tempted to just buy all the PlayStation 1 games today that we don't have. This is difficult because there's, there's not a lot of PlayStation 1 games here. Like, I don't have X-Files. I don't have this game here. And there's maybe two more in here that I don't have. So I'm thinking about grabbing them. But then like I might just spend $60 on PlayStation 1 games right now and then get to the next stop and there'll be a $250 game that I wish I'd saved the credit for. It's a, it's a tough choice. But, I mean, that's, that's, that's all there is. I mean, we pretty much own every common PlayStation 1 game there is. We're on to the uncommon ones that aren't likely to show up at their store. I'm not gonna buy international track and field though. I'm gonna, I don't have it, but I'm gonna also pass. <laughs> if I buy all four of these, mm -hmm. the next game we buy is literally gonna be our 3,000th game. That's a lot of pressure then. <laughs> well, it creates a lot of pressure for the next stop. Yeah. Are you saying don't do it? I don't know, now, now I'm second guessing it. Uh, Load Runner's 1450. What does this even say? Theme Hospital is 1550, X Files 1250, Battle Arena Toshiden. Or do you want to just go ahead and pick out a game right now and call it our 3000th game? <laughs> no, do you want that responsibility? That's too much pressure. We can make it Leisure Suit Larry. Did you find the anime? GTO. 
But we're not sure if we have them, right? Is this the problem? Well, we definitely don't have these three, but we're trying to remember if we bought the first three. I think we did, because they were like a buck each. How much are they here? Five a piece. That's not bad, all things yeah. considered. This store is so different than the one back in Phoenix, because there's just Japanese games everywhere. Everywhere. But it's not like that. How are they home. getting them? If we don't find enough video games to go home with, uh, I want to come back here and buy this blue microphone. It's orange, I understand, but the name of it is blue. I used to work in a music studio where we had the like $20,000 version of that mic. That's the super cheap one. But even the cheap ones are really good mics and I'd love to have one. The Blorange mic? The Blorange, is that what you said? <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Well, you want the Blorange mic? I think you're going to have to go to the next store and pick out the 3000 game because you're going to act so nervous all day you're just not going to pick anything. <laughs> I just, this is too much pressure. <laughs> Hannah just, Hannah just wants to be left out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I just, I'll just panic by that cat bowl and call it a day. So Hannah went and paid for our games and had all of the receipts combined into one. I'm not sure if I'm happy about that. I mean, obviously this is more convenient, but I can't make it rain now. What, <laughs> what am I going to do? Chase this one receipt down the road? <laughs> I have anxiety about that. Like yeah. you just letting it fly away. Oh my God, <laughs> stop! <laughs> That's $210. Stop it! Oh my God, where'd it go? <laughs> it would suck if somehow a bird just swooped in. Oh my God, that would be terrible. That would be our, oh my, would you? I'm gonna flick you in the nose next time you do it. There's always a lot of controversy when we make these traded videos. Some people think I should buy this, some people think I should buy that. Some people reasonably would assume that when you have trading credit, you should use it for big things. So a lot of you guys watching are gonna wanna see me buy a $200 game. And if we get to the next stop and there's something $200 that I gotta have right now, I'll, I'll do it. I'm not, I'm not scared. Uh, but if you've been watching this channel for a while, you might know I mean, we've rarely ever spent any real money at all on games. Like, the most we've spent on games has been like the Mario game on Switch, you gotta pay $60 for it. I don't think I've ever paid cash more than that for a game. That being said, I, there's a lot of uncommon stuff for PlayStation that I'd love to have. Like, I'm very excited to play Load Runner just because of the weird, puzzly, platforming kind of puzzle stuff going on in this game, it looks good. So I like spending two, $300 at a time on 20 games that I might actually play. Uh, it's kind of how I feel about it. I, I, I'm just warning you, I might end up spending all 200 on $15 games, but we'll see. But I think you should definitely pick number 3000. Okay. <laughs> you gonna do it? You just gonna close your eyes and pull something off the... Sure, I'll just pick the most like, Hannah game there is. <laughs> You're gonna be like, well, that makes sense. Yeah. It's gonna be, I don't know, I can't think, some, some random Switch game. The probably. problem of it is gonna be that I'm gonna go and like, be like, oh, I want this game. And you're like, we have that already. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> every time I let her, every, yeah, every time I say, okay, Hannah, your turn to pick, she goes and grabs a Bratz game that we already have two copies on, two different consoles. <laughs> you keep track of the collection, <laughs> I just play it. <laughs> Come show me what you got. Uh, GTO. Anime, very yep. nice. And then you didn't end up buying all of those Vita games. You've got three out of the four. Yep, Seal No Surge, one in Reincarnation, and then this bad boy. And those are all three Japanese. Yeah. And I guess Vita's not region locked, correct? Nope, we can play them. So you can play them, very yeah. nice. Is it hard to play some of them when they're in Japanese? Especially RPGs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. You just gotta click buttons. Yeah. Just keep clicking until the, till the menu moves. So the best part of these trips to Tucson that we take is these guys always take us out for some good food. What's the significance of this place? Bumsteads, they do meatloaf sandwiches. Meatloaf, is that what we're having is meatloaf sandwiches? Yeah. I'm so down for this. Let's it's, give it a whirl. It's gonna feel like we're in, in the lunchroom. Oh, there's 1995, my grandmother was a lunch lady. Have I ever told you this? No. Tell us about the desserts. They're huge. I'm in. That's my type of food. <laughs> Hannah's gonna just have the dessert. Yep. I just realized while shooting this clip that my hair was cut. Yeah, we did that last night. Don't you remember? No, I forgot all about it. I was like, why do I look respectable? Do you want to hear a funny story about it? What? Well, I was cutting your hair. I had the the, the shears, the buzzer. <laughs> And Pants came up to the door. He thought oh, I was yeah. murdering him. And our he was, cat was so upset. Our cat was so mad she was cutting my hair. Like, I, like, I think scared. I think he thought he was next. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? Look at that pile of fries. I'm going to try one. 
Look at, look at this sandwich. Some nice rye bread. That's madness. Thank you. Mm. French fries. Those are good fries. This looks so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the giantest piece of meat ever, but meatloaf is so airy. It's. Hannah, did you think when we hit 10,000 subs, we'd be celebrating with meatloaf? No, definitely not. If you told me, Hannah, you're gonna have meatloaf this week, I'd be like, oh, what happened? Is it, is it 1995? <laughs> I'm not making fun of meatloaf. It's just been since 1995 since I've had it. That's good though. Look at this. That rye bread's real good. <laughs> I have to unhinge my jaw like a snake. Right. <laughs> Take a bite. Mm. How are these? They're crunchy. They're like crispy. crispy <laughs> Hold on, Hannah. You gotta get that on camera. <laughs> I, I squished it. <laughs> you should start an eating channel. You should be one of those should, people. It'll just be. It'll just be me eating. You gotta, listen, darling. Things. You got a big old mouth. I do. <laughs> Some people are into that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> we are on to Bookman's number two. This one I get pretty excited about. They've got this glass case of super fancy gaming stuff. Like last time we were here, I think they had a like a, uh, a, a tester model PlayStation 2 developer kit. That's what the words I was looking for. Couldn't find it. Super excited about this. This Bookman's is pretty. You ready to buy our 3,000th video <gasps> game handle? Oh my gosh, I forgot that I, that was my responsibility. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna hop over to the toy section because they may have a brat stall here. It hasn't happened at this location before, but it has happened in one of the ones in Phoenix. They had a Bratz boy, which I already had the Bratz boy, so I didn't get it, but it has happened. I mean, first off, they have Power Rangers. Bunch of new ones though. Pops. I mean, I knew it was a long shot, but I had to look. This is the case last time that had the developer kit in it, right? Yeah. What is this X Men game? Is that floppy disk, baby? What'd you find? Do we have this? What'd you find? Do we have this one? Uh, no, we don't. We don't have it on GameCube. Really? No, we don't have this one at all. Really? Rock Angels. That's funny. I swear you're gonna be like, oh yeah, we've got like two copies of that. No, I don't, the <laughs> whole stereo, I don't know, we don't have that one. Most of the ones we have are pink, as you might imagine. Oh. Um, are you saying this is our 3000 video game? Maybe. Do you think it should be? Is it worthy? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick out the brats? Yeah. It's her fault, blame it, Lisa. <laughs> I get to stand in the cover photo with that game now. <laughs> it was my plan from the start. <laughs> Which one are you looking at? She's looking at Shadow of Destiny. Shadow of Destiny. Well, How much? First, first I was looking at this Devil Summoner one. Thank we you. just bought that on eBay. Complete. 25? No, the $120 one. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> There's air guides. Ooh, air guides. We have the disc only for that. Girl series. Oh, wow. How much is it? Oh, there's two bought. Good find. Thank you. Yep. That's two. Uh, when you said, hey, there's Power Rangers VHS over here, I was like, oh, well, that's difficult because I don't keep good track of them. Yeah. But I've never even seen these, so. Nice. There's no worry of them being doubles. What'd you find? Nothing. I'm just trying to put it back. Did you find the titty flick? No. Assist. <laughs> oh, lost in space. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Maybe you can help me out with this. My super Star Wars copy, CLZ says it's worth 32 bucks. Why does that one have $100 on it? Can you tell? Is there something special about it? It's the player's choice version. I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll have to look when I get home. I mean, I'm, here's a picture of my box. And it, what is going on with that? I really don't Like, I saw it. I was like, there's no, my copy is not worth that much. Because I bought it for like $10 at a flea market. Like, in the 10th video we ever made on it, this channel. Yeah, it shouldn't be worth that much. Yeah, if, if there's an alternate version, there's not one on my CLZ gears. What does it say? Uh, Star Wars. Player's Choice. Complete's worth 28. Yeah. Weird, huh? Yeah, they're, I, they're a little this, off. They just, they looked at the wrong thing on that one. I don't know. Comment below if you know something we don't, because we can't figure it out. 
also i must say before we move on i'm really tempted to buy these engage games i do have a working engage i just wish i could buy them in box i really do I dug through all the PlayStation games here and I'm kind of running into some problems. I already have this kind of game. I was pretty sure I did, but I was going to check. And then Time Crisis got a $20 sticker on it. Price charting puts it at 16 That's not a big deal. I don't care about that $4 difference, but it does kind of show how the volatility of game prices right now is just like hard to keep track of but i, I really don't mind just like I, there's a couple of psp games in there that look cool that are like 70 80 bucks but i don't know like i'm not quite that interested in them to drop 100 on them right now but then again like we're here i need to spend this store credit so i don't know i think i might grab time crisis and maybe some PSP games or something here and then hope that the last store that we're going to next has some better stuff. Hannah is overlooking in the toy section, so maybe she'll find something else she wants. And I think we're leaving as of now with two Bratz games. So, number 3,000, Bratz. Number 3,001, Bratz. A wall full of games here that like, I don't know what the rhyme or reason for this is, like staff picks or something, but. Look at this doctor game. Trauma Center, second opinion. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I'm having second thoughts on Time Crisis, so it looks like officially, officially, 3,000, 3,001. How do you feel about how it? How do you feel about it? That's the question. I just, I'm shocked we don't have them. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of them. There's, there is. There might be as many Bratz games as there are Bratz dolls. I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> Ricola. We're in luck because right next door, not right next door, there's a grocery store next door, and then Zia Records, another store we have back home, but is equally, if not more awesome here in Tucson. So we're gonna check this out real quick too. It's a tiny little game section, but is there anything good? Um, not really. Young Indiana Jones is interesting. I'm super into this boom power pin. Boom power with a banjo. <laughs> kind of want it. If I recall, every time we come here, you guys have bought like serious anime. Yes. And it looks like that streak will continue. What is this? It's one of the best animes ever. That's high praise? Yes. <laughs> it's super hilarious and Japanese and it's super dry humor. It looks, it looks good. It's is that good. a giant robot? Is yes. that what that is? His name is Mekazawa. I'm into that. You guys have better taste than me. All I've seen that I want is a boom power pin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 268, I believe. All right. Boom, hi, that's the one. Right on. 1087 after tax, sir. Is that debit or credit? Debit. What's the name? These are only two bucks. Dallas. Yeah. Dallas? Cool. Yeah. I've been wanting one of those. Nice. It's so dope. We're going to see how long it takes Hannah to notice. I, I, the funny part about this is I need Hannah to put it on me. How about that? How about it? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I'm just casually reading the plot of The Gay Divorcee. It's a Fred Astaire film. I don't know it. I'm intrigued. <laughs> What'd you find? I got a couple things. Oh, you I got, got a... that. I got that Zia sticker I wanted. You it's got a the, sticky. It's a sticker of their price tag, and I've got like a thousand video games with that sticker on it. That's true. Of course, this one doesn't have that price tag on it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you notice anything else different about me? Did you buy that? <laughs> did you buy that? Did, did you buy that? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have a banjo? Why not? Yeah, well, I hope you watched our live show last night. It hasn't happened for me as of shooting this, but it should have happened by the time you're watching this. That's why I bought it. <laughs> Listen to me when I say this, it's Boomhauer with a banjo. <laughs> well guys, I'm actually a little bit worried because I came fully prepared for once to spend $100 plus on a video game. And I'm just, the, the stock is low. It's, there's just not, there's not as many games here as usual, but we got one more stop. It might happen there. How much, how much do we have left? $170. <laughs> I, I'll buy a $170 game right now. Show me the games. The sad part about all that is I'm being dead serious. <laughs> all right, last Bookman's. 
This is the big one though. This is the biggest one in town. I don't know if it's their original location, but in case you don't understand what's going on here, we have two Bookman's locations in Phoenix, which is a much larger city than Tucson, much, much larger. However, the store originated here, so there's three locations here. So once every few months, me and my friends drive here just to go game shopping. We usually bring a bunch of store credit from stuff we've traded in. You know how we bring home random PS3s and crap from the Goodwill bin sometimes? Well, sometimes we don't list them on eBay or anything. We just drop them off, get 20, 30, 40, $50 trading credit for like consoles without peripherals and stuff. Uh, when the demand is high, and we stack all that credit up, we drive to Tucson, and we spend it. Now, I've got $170 left to spend. And honestly, if there's not a, uh, a couple nice things that I want right now, we might just buy a couple more small games, save 100 or something for next time or for when we get back home. I'm not having, I'm not having a lot of faith that there's gonna be some bangers. I'd love to, to buy some $100 GameCube games today. Let it happen. This one always has more Pokemon cards. If there's no video games, I'm buying all Charizards. Oh my goodness. I have all these pins or I'd be buying more pins today. Maybe I just shouldn't have spent any money whatsoever at the previous ones. Cause here we've got a $60 gaming manual for Digimon, which I'd kill to have. And believe me when I say that's just the start. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories for the Game Boy. 50 bucks, want. And then these fools are crowding around all the good stuff. <laughs> Monster Rancher 4, 3, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses I have, but two Monster Rancher games. How much do you say we have? 170. All right, so I'm at 130 with the two Monster Rancher games, if they're complete. I have to see if they're complete, because if they're not, I'm probably not gonna buy them. So, uh, what do I spend the rest of the 40 bucks on? Mm. How much was, maybe I get Yu-Gi-Oh and just pay $10 for the, for what's left? Maybe. I'm gonna probably regret leaving that manual, but I'm just gonna have to leave that one up to chance that it shows up at the thrift store. Do you guys see anything that you're dying for? Not yet. And then there's a Game Boy game down there I'd like to grab too. Just make sure these are complete. Yeah. I'll take both of those. Cool. Oh, those two games are good. Uh, can I finish I'm up their map first oh, so yeah, I don't yeah, get yeah, some things yeah. up? Thank you. I'm gonna grab this Yu Gi Oh game. What you give me? Uh, the one in box that I have to keep inside of it as well. Just do be gentle. <laughs> Just make sure the manual's in there is all I really care about. All right, I'll get this book behind the yeah. register for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What'd you find? <laughs> What's that? Busy guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Department manager has a vacation day today, so it's just me. Oh, perfect. <laughs> got it? We've basically got the money spent now, but we just need to check the toy section to make sure we don't need to unspend that money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's not likely, but it's possible. That's interesting. These are $3 a piece here. That's what we sell them for basically in our antique mall because yeah. they don't really move very fast. But the one at home, the Bookman's at home sells them for 10. Yeah, I remember the last time we were here, they had a bunch of Pokemon VHS for like $10 a piece. Yeah. Like, mm. Oh, that is my face. Hello? <laughs> I'm just making sure there's no more pins that we have to go home with. I'm telling you, I'll spend money on another Boomhauer. <laughs> You just laugh every time I say boom higher. Yeah. <laughs> um, I might have to unspend some of that money. <laughs> I don't know. It's a life-size Millennium Puzzle. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, it would be proportionally accurate for you to Yugi. Imagine I get a Halloween chain, a big link chain, and wear that around my neck. Are you gonna wear like a, a felt hair piece so that you can have I mean, the... We, we can get to that later, but if, you, if you're gonna start with a Yu Yu costume, you gotta start with the puzzle, baby. You gonna put all your Halloween candy oh, in there? Oh my god, I want it. It's all, I want it bad. Does that mean I have to put the, I gotta put the Yu Gi Oh game back to get the puzzle? Alright, I'm not gonna do it. But now that I know it exists, maybe I'll find one open on eBay because I like properly wanna wear it. I don't want, I don't want a piggy bank, I wanna put it around my neck. That's so funny. Also, look at this ran. That's awful. Is it like a game for each season? There's yeah. a, no, so it's four seasons of a game that's its own story. Oh, wow. Yeah, it has, there's only like one character from the show that shows up and it's Glenn. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> 
So that Walking Dead was that one of the four two you don't have? No, we have it loose. We don't have it complete. Because you're getting it's, it in boxes. That's, yeah. that's still cool. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna invade your space while you do this. We'll talk more in a little bit about what you guys got, but give me a little sneak peek. Give me a little sneak peek of something you got. Oh, beautiful. So I know there's next to no chance, but what just like what? What if there's just an off chance there's cards in here? Okay, there's not cards in here, but it was worth a look, wasn't it? Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh games often come with cards. Yeah, three limited edition official game cards inside. That's why I like buying them sealed, just so I know they're in there. But most of the, I have two or three Yu-Gi-Oh Game Boy games now. They're all sealed. That's lovely, though. Sweet. Hold on. You want to sniff? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It smells like winning. Oh yeah. Why is Agumon so round? This is because he's so fluffy. This is his truest form. <laughs> he is just a, it's just an Agumon ball. Limited series one. Toei animation. It's a squishable. So I guess all squishables are needlessly round. Is that a squishable? So this is, okay, I'm understanding now. Cat bus. Cat bus. There's a Totoro in there. Oh, yes. What? Whoa, giant Pikachu. That's cool. They all have cards in this that one. Prepare yourself for this one. We actually came here last time we were in town. You might remember, I bought a giant box of Marvel Fleer cards. Now, we've spent all of our store credit at Bookman's. That has nothing to do with this place. It's a completely different store. It's called Our Galaxy. It's just like a toy and comic shop. Last time we were in here, it was an amazing wonderland. So just stick around for this. You ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Magical Wonderland. Books here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot you collected those. I just don't know what we have back at my parents' place. You don't want to double buy them? No. What'd you find? There's a box full of VHS down there. Just interesting to see what's in it. There's Star Trek toys. It's not really my thing, but it's cool to see. What'd you find? Just looking at a bunch of old video games. Everything's twenty percent off today. Oh nice. It's pretty sweet. This race storm game looks dope. Yeah, that's another one to look at. Working design shooter. How much is it? I don't know. Is it a typically expensive game? Probably. Race storm is 75. Uh, nope. Nope. That one. Are all those PlayStation 32. And you didn't bring them out for you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Just Let's just see them all. boxes, everything. <laughs> I appreciate it. We need the second. Uh, I need the second one just as okay. a little PlayStation magazines. And there's a Did few right there. There's some cheapy ones. Did I just buy this, yeah, but the regular? Okay, cool. But thank you. What, uh, does that just various? look like a clone trooper? It does, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of odd. So you're going to buy all these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's, the, that's the stack. That's you know, so I go, oh, I didn't know there was. Yeah. I didn't know good. either. It was just like, uh, yep. And I, I'm sure it's terrible, but I don't care. Yeah. I, it looks awesome. I mean, that gameplay looks pretty dope. Usually they're, they're platformers, I think. Yeah. These we don't have as Prince of Persia. This looks awesome. <laughs> we had a copy. That was yeah. All Ooh, wow, look how cool. Ooh, I like the shiny. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good game, too. Um, that's yeah. awesome. You guys got a fat stack, bro? Oh, it's good there. Oh, Those are good there, too. a terrible place for these, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a good idea. It used to be all music. And really? I just about, like, all my initial D soundtracks here, like, all my old Final Fantasy soundtracks here, way oh. back in the day. Really? And this is the oh, remnants is of is the, the music collection here, huh? Yeah. Some of the Amigo. This is all anime soundtracks, right? All anime mm -hmm. soundtracks. You guys hit the jackpot. Manakemia. Oh, Manakemia. Buy it all. I Listen to me. Look this. at me. Look at me in my eyeballs. <laughs> Buy all of it. I think we have this, though. Because it's in our edition. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Give it anyway. Mm. Buy it. I think we have that. <laughs> How much are the prices on them? Well, he said he said he they're said normally he could... 20, but they'll cut it to 8 for us. Yeah. Get them. A piece. Get them. Buy Yeah. 
anything we recognize and like, we'll just get. Because, you know, she has a CD player in her car. <laughs> and we have a PS5. You're you want, you want, right you want to hear something awesome? Huh. I have a CD DVD player in my bread truck. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to one up you or anything. Greater words have never been spoken. <laughs> right? <laughs> I watched Ninja Turtles in there the other day. That is the most incredible thing I've ever heard. If you find a Monster Rancher soundtrack, I'll fight you for it. <laughs> you know, it could be in there. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> just some random stuff. I'm fight, I mean just lay on you until you give up. <laughs> what did I say? I'll see what you find. Tagline on that. That's an a old... A pair of queens. I'm into it. Good old Lum soundtrack, man. So this, this yeah, anime is about a game of tag. Really? That's literally the whole anime. It's is, tag. It, is it like a non-stop game of tag through yes. the whole se series? Yep. I'm into that. But this is like a, this looks like a chibi. I don't know, yeah, that's it. 80 jewels over there, Elisa. Um, I can't read all of Is this Slayers? I think it's Slayers. Yep, that's Slayers. That's awesome. Oh, let me see. A Gundam soundtrack, really? I've been trying so hard not to collect more Gundam stuff. <laughs> You've convinced us, sir. How many anime jams were you buying? Well, there were of the soundtracks? Yeah. Nine. Nine. So we're going to rock some anime on the way home. Which one are we going with? Uh, this is a 99 best uh, anime soundtracks. This is 2000. Oh, these are all compilations. Compilations. Tons of different animes on them. So blasting uh, 21 years ago and 20 years ago. That's awesome. All right, which one are we doing? Well, 99. Let's do it. Let's go older. Oh, fresh oh, scene. yeah. That's been wrapped up in that prison since 1999. Taking out an initial D soundtrack and putting <laughs> in an anime soundtrack. All right, what's the first song going to be? Fire Away. Let's go! <laughs> Hannah jumped out of her seat! <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I can't let you guys hear too much. We'll get a copyright strike, so peace. <laughs> So something pretty magical just happened. You may or may not notice we're standing in a uh, GameStop. We just stopped in here last minute. I wasn't even gonna film anything because we're just stopping by. GameStop promo, Flapple. Let's go. Let me show you something. Receive a special promo card featuring Flapple. You gotta spend $15. And I was gonna do that. I was gonna buy $15 worth of Pokemon cards, easiest purchase ever, but they're actually completely and entirely out of Pokemon products, so I just got the hook up. It's the best way. <laughs> well, actually it's not, because I wouldn't mind to have had $15 worth of booster packs, but you know. Oh well. <laughs> I don't understand, is it a mug or is it like a pitcher? I mean, it's a mug, Giant but like, mug. Why? you might want to just pot a plant in it. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Pizza was good. Five stars, willing to give. Now, we're gonna talk about all the stuff that we bought today. We got a lot to talk about. Stacks, stacks, boom! Mega stacks. You bought a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but before we talk about all that, we need to scan our 3,000th and 3,001st video games. Hannah, did you ever think that they would be Bratz, Bratz games? No. Definitely no. not. <laughs> We're officially scanning those and not Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh could be number 3,000. could. But Bratz is, you know, Bratz is Bratz. Scan them. Let's do it. Oh, that's 3,000. 3,001. High five. Uh, which one of these do you think is going to be a better game? Um, Bratz Diamonds or Bratz uh, Rock Angels? I mean... They're probably the exact same. Let's. I'm gonna go with this one. You think they're just like reskin games? Just yeah. I feel like they're probably like Sims, but like not. But not exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just go over a couple things you got, Dan, and we'll just go one by one and talk about some of it. All right. 3DS game Shinobi didn't have it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's all shiny. Yeah, I like the holographic covers. Some random uh, cheap 3DO games. When we find them, we find them cheap. We get this them. looks ridiculous. Yeah. The People's Party. No idea. Yeah. Should be fun. Just nonsense. Yep. All um, right. I will talk a little bit about... I bought this. Uh, it's one of those Pokemon holders that holds the giant cards. And I've complained tons of times on this channel and my other channel, Rubber Duck Yellow, where we do a lot of Pokemon stuff. I've, I've, I've accumulated so many of those giant Pokemon cards I have nothing to put them in. But now I've got a book. I've got a book to put it in. And also, I got a promo card from GameStop, which was unexpected because I didn't know they were doing that or I would have already gotten that card. 
Let's talk about these laser discs. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Are you guys collecting laser discs now? Uh, I've been wanting to for a while, and the bookmans we went to had a huge collection. Were, were all of them about the same price? Um, there's a couple in here. They're special editions, so they were pricier. Okay. But the rest of these, like loose or uh, slim copies, are a couple bucks. Well, you know, I've come across laser disc at the thrift and stuff, but I've never noticed them at Bookman. So it was interesting to see so many. They had a whole shelf full of them. Yeah, it was crazy. Did you get any you're really excited about, or just uh, I, I, the ones I picked, I'm excited about all of them. Right. Um. So we got Terminator Two. Um. Daniel's favorite war games. Oh, very nice. Uh, we got Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. And then the oh. two special editions. Alien. Is that sealed? Um, I think it's a resale. Okay. And then Aliens. No way. So That's I'm, awesome. I'm a big fan of action films. That's fantastic. Well, I can't wait to be invited over one of these days to watch a Laserdisc movie on your oversized TV. Uh, all right, let's talk about some more games, Dan, because you guys got some stuff that I was like, Ooh, what? Got some bangers. Yeah. Our Galaxy had some well, blowouts. Before we get into some of this, tell me real quick what you guys collect, because obviously there's a nice collection here behind you. Video games. Just general. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so RPGs. Uh, we're trying to complete Vita. We're just, we're under 15 left on our Vita collection. Uh, trying to go 100% on 3DS. That's why we picked up like Shinobi. It's just another little one we didn't have. Um, and then RPGs are the main focus. So we collect what we're going to play other than those few systems. And that's, that's our so, whole thing. So 3DS and Vita, you're going for completion. And every other system, it's almost entirely RPGs that you guys yeah, play. Yeah, or what we'll play. I play a lot more than RPGs. Okay. But. All right, well, let's talk about a couple more games. Sure. Um, so we picked up a bunch of Japanese Vita games, or this one actually is just uh, one we needed a complete box oh, for. Very nice. And then uh, Seal No Surge and Seal No Surge Reincarnation RPGs from Japan. That's so awesome. And then this bad boy that I got to look up, but it uh, looks pretty risque, so that's cool. <laughs> and then what about the PlayStation games? Oh, man. Our Galaxy was blowing these out way too cheap. So G Darius, so that's okay. a shooter. Ray Storm. This is a big deal. This one's awesome. Yeah. It seemed like they were just trying to get rid of stuff at that store because these yeah. were underpriced according to price charting by like 30, 40%. So, look at that price. Okay. It says 75. And it was 20% off that. Off that. So. It's a $100 that's, game? Yeah. That's super cheap, man. Yeah. And then Battle Arena Toshinden 3, just because it's a cool old game. There's the third one. Very nice. And oh, Dreamcast game. RPG. That's awesome. I like the looks of that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about these CDs. All right. This was probably the the unique find of today. The yeah. unexpected find. So they had a, a cart, a rolling cart full of just Japanese soundtracks. Some of them are soundtracks from games, but most of them's anime. So DNA Squared. Um, we've, we've, we've watched all of this. We love it. Um, so these are compilations of just like the the top hits of the year in Japan for anime music. So this is 2000. <laughs> um, 99. Um, this one is, I think, Ray Earth. It's a video game soundtrack. Uh, Slayers. I, I love me some Slayers. Um, another Slayer CD. We have... I don't know the name of this one. <laughs> Need Just, a translation. Well, that's a record of Lotto score. Okay. And then we have... Spriggan, awesome movie. Yes. Uh, Manakemia, we weren't sure if we needed this for our copy of Manakemia. And the, Jumping Flash 2. An actual game yeah. amongst all those CDs. This one was also from Our Galaxy. Um, so all of the, the CDs... Um, he said they're twenty, but he said we could have them for eight dollars. Once again, he just wanted it out. Yeah, he was, he was practically begging them um, to take some of this stuff. So I'm gonna go through a couple things that I got just to get it out of the way. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duelist stories, Dark Duel stories. No trading cards in this, but I was looking at the back of it, and I actually have most of these cards that came in this box. I don't know specifically if they're the ones that are coded to have specifically came for this game, but part of me wants to. Comp Complete the Yu-Gi-Oh! Collection sealed, just because it's something I'm passionate about collecting. And I've got quite a few of the games sealed. But at the same time, it's really just the fact that the cards are in there that are kind of important to me. So I'm going to I'm gonna think about 
uh, keeping my eyes out for some of the cards that come in these Yu-Gi-Oh games. And maybe just complete them that way. But I got a stack of PlayStation 1 games too. Now this is where I kind of went wrong today. Uh, we spent about 50, 60 bucks on nonsense at our first stop because uh, we've done this shopping trip together several times now. I mean, how many times have we done this? Like four or five? Three. This is the third time? It I feels like we've done this a hundred times. So the last time we did it, I spent a bunch of the money. Uh, I, I, I was afraid to spend the money. I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was like, I don't want to spend. I want to. I don't know. We're gonna go to four stores today. I'm not sure what I should buy. So this time I was like, I'm not gonna be so worried. I'm just gonna buy some cool stuff. So I bought some cool stuff at the first two stops, and I got to the last stop, and all the good stuff was there, like I feared. So it was just really confusing. So I bought Load Runner, and I bought this game. Looks so ridiculous. What does it even say? Theme Hospital? No idea what kind of game this is, but it looks awesome. And then, it's so hard to see this. Battle Arena Toshiden. And then the X-Files. And there's two copies of this there. One was complete with manuals and one wasn't. So I got the one that was. Uh, three disc game. That's crazy. Oh, it's four discs. Whoa. Wow. That's no joke. That's crazy. Well, I, I, I'm pretty certain that's my only four disc game. So there you go. All right, Dan, let's talk about some more of your games because you got a bit more of a stack there, don't you? Uh, yeah. So Shining Arc, Japanese only RPG for PSP. That's awesome. I've never seen it. It's kind of neat. Don't know much about it, but now we have it. Uh, went to GameStop, picked up Hades. That's brand new, right? Brand new. Uh, I've been wanting to play it. Uh, it's gotten a lot of critical acclaim, so it's got to be good. That's awesome. Um, this one. I've been wanting to play. I want to, I want it on Switch, but it's like 100 bucks on Switch now. So, PS4 it is. Uh, we have Knights of Azure 2, so we wanted Knights of Azure 1. That's an action RPG for PS4, and Koei Tecmo, they release one every week, it seems, but got it. <laughs> and then a, the lone VHS. And then a VHS. Yeah, it's some random movie called uh, Garze's Wing. It looks horrible. It should be fun. But as you guys can see, they've got a little CRT with a VCR on it. These guys watch more nonsense anime on VHS than any humans on Earth. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. They've got a pretty cool growing collection. Now, you've got DVDs, toys, video games, all the above in, in these stacks? Yep. All right. Well, let's just jump into <laughs> a stack and tell me what you got and stop on some of them and tell me why you got it. Um, so this one is... DQM. It's a Dragon Quest Monsters 2. Um, any Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior game, I, I want a complete collection, and this is one we didn't have, so that's why we got it. That's awesome. I, I don't think I would have just looked at that cover and recognized it as a Dragon Quest game. It's not kind of the typical... So this is kind of their Pokemon spinoff, right? Oh. Um, so it's monster collecting, and they battle with you. You also, I think... Um, also battle as well i haven't played it so we'll figure it out confirm, <laughs> confirm that this i've seen this i have no idea what it is but i have a, uh, a, a recollection of it from my childhood uh yeah i definitely enjoyed watching this um in my younger years and um i recently saw a, a history video on it and i was just oh i need to collect all of that now <laughs> and awesome. watch it again this was a huge find. Um, Daniel found this on display up front. So I've never seen the new Adventures of He-Man, but I think in the later 80s, early 90s, they made this. And it's the same writers, but different artists. But the big reason, honestly, that I want it is this, this side panel <laughs> because it continues the, the, the artscape of the He-Man and She-Ra DVDs that I already have, and there's one more left, and that's it. Oh, wow. You have all of them but one. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> and the last one is a doozy. It's very expensive on eBay. Of course. This is um, season four. Okay. Of, it's more of this other set. Yep, yeah, of Reboot. So I'm actually missing season three here, but we'll find it. Very nice. Um, they had one and two at the book's bookstore i thought i had one but i actually have three so now i gotta 
go go find one again. We make those mistakes all the time too, because I mean, when you have a collection this big, you can work really hard to keep it organized, but you're gonna fail sometimes. So this is based off of uh, the Xenosaga games, of which you have most right. of. The, uh, yeah. I have the full collection, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> now this, I think, for me. If I were, this is your fire of the day, according to me, because <laughs> you collect stuff, comics, and all kinds of stuff from the, this series, right? Yeah, um, I spent some time overseas when I was younger, and Asterix and Obelix was very popular. Um, my parents were big fans of of this, and my brothers, and you know, I'm I'm a sucker. Whenever I see Asterix and Obelix, I I feel like I need to buy it. Well, it's just nostalgic. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you and I both before today had no idea there was a PS2 game. I had no idea. <laughs> no, I was I was just like, yeah, yeah I need I need that. <laughs> she picked it up and showed it to me. I was like, what? Asterix and Obelix kick butts. Kick buttocks. <laughs> it's buttocks. awesome. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right, and you got a couple tall boys here, I see. Yeah, you know, I really like the PS1 long boxes. Uh, growing up, we had a great collection. And um, if if we see them for a good price, we'll buy them. Especially if they're this nice of shape. Yeah. I mean, it's got a... Oh, it's pristine. It's got a plastic cover on it. One more. Um, our Galaxy, again, um, Jumping Flash, the, the first one, I... I was terrible at this game, but I still love playing this game. It kind of makes you a little, little motion sick, and it's it's um it's really funny. That's awesome. <laughs> it looks good. I like the cover on that one. Now I've got a couple more things we'll talk about real quick, and then we'll look at Elisa's remaining two stacks. Um, Elisa found these for me. Uh, I was not even thinking about looking at the VHS while we were there, and uh, I'm a member on a couple like Facebook user groups uh, for just. Buy, sell, trade, collect, Power Rangers stuff. Power Rangers specific. And uh, those guys talk about the VHS on there a lot. I'm kind of a lurker. I don't think I've ever posted on it. But uh, someone posted a picture of the complete set of Power Ranger VHS. And it's not many. It's not as many as you'd think. As many Power Ranger episodes are out there. Uh, not a lot of it made it onto VHS. So I, I'm actually, you know, I'm well into my... Power Ranger VHS collection. Uh, I, I will have the whole collection one of these days, and I'll be very happy to have it. I only collect uh, Power Ranger VHS and Dragon Ball Z VHS, but you guys kind of just collect anything you think is actually worth watching. Right? Yeah, anything we want to watch. Yeah. yeah, or just completely random anime we've never heard of. Right, which is that's that's one of the big ones. Uh, I, anytime we find an anime that I have no idea what it is at the at the bins or something, I bring it to these guys, and then they actually text me like, "Oh, we watched it. It was it was, <laughs> it was weird." Um, <laughs> We do watch VHS at home, but like I don't collect them. Like I'll buy one at the bins, we'll watch it, and I'll just donate it back. Yeah, kind of a kind of a habit I've developed. But let me show you my last two things. These are my big my big ones for the day. Uh, this is a ninety dollar game, uh, which I only really say to say I, I unless I'm mistaken, that might be the most trading credit we've spent on one game. Does that sound right? Potentially, yeah. Because I have a couple games that are $100 games and stuff, but those were found with luck at the thrift. But uh, Monster Rancher 3 and 4, these are games I'm actually very much so looking forward to playing. I played uh, Monster Rancher 1 and 2 a ton when I was a kid, especially 2. 2 is my favorite. But um, I played a little bit of 3 at a friend's house when I was a kid, and I've never played 4. So very much so looking forward to putting those in. Five of the days for sure. And actually, I got really lucky because when we traded in all this store credit stuff, the store we were trading in at had a copy of four. And I was like, I want to buy it. But I was like, but we're going to go shoot this special video, so maybe I shouldn't buy it. And I didn't. And I got lucky because we drove all the way to Tucson and they had a copy. So let's talk about the rest of your stuff real quick. You got more media here, right? Yep. Um, so this is GTO. It's an anime. Um, great teacher, Ani Zuka. Zuka? That's awesome. Um, so I believe, um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he's an ex Yakuza that, that's, that his dream is to become a high school teacher. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty, pretty funny. It's um, uh, it's uh, a little maybe PG thirteen for this day and age. Very nice. Um, I found a VHS of oh, wow. the original Transformers. Um. I do have the whole collection, but 
you know, you see this kind of box art and you're like, yep, I need that. Yeah, you've got the whole collection on DVD. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, there's, you know, there's, some, there's something especially nostalgic about popping a VHS in a little CRT like that and, yeah. you know, watching it that way. That's well, always fun. It, it looks good, you yeah. know, with the aspect ratio and like... It, it feels right, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, what is this? Um, so Duck soup. I, oh, it's Marx Brothers. Okay. Yeah, I grew up with uh, watching some Marx Brothers. Very um, nice. It's something that my my family watched. It. I didn't understand the humor like <laughs> when I was a kid, but I, I remember like this this movie was uh, I think the favorite of the ones that we had on Laserdisc. So that's awesome. Well, I didn't realize it was Marx Brothers because that that blended in. All I saw was duck soup. Yeah. All right. What's this big box here? So um, I I have a friend that he remembers an anime from his childhood and he subscribed it and I, I'm like that sounds like Outlaw Star and I've actually never watched it but because I've I've watched enough like Toonami and like uh, preview videos on other anime tapes so I was like well I think I'm gonna have to watch that now that's awesome so You'll have to let me know. I, I feel like that's another one of those weird ones I remember from when I was younger, but I, I, I never watched either. I think it's like space cowboy kind of anime. I'm into it. All right, you got some toys. Is this yours as well? Ah, uh, well, that's that's actually uh, for some family. Oh, okay. That's something you picked up for your brothers. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Well, still tell us what it is. I don't recognize. Um, so this was a game that we rented from Blockbuster, <laughs> and we absolutely loved it. And you know, it's, it's it says uh, SquareSoft, and we really enjoyed playing Final Fantasy Secret of Mana. And this was actually created by the uh, American branch. It it wasn't created. Um, in Japan, like Secret of Mana and Final Fantasy. But it's really good. It has a similar uh, battle system to Secret of Mana, but um, it's modern era, like um, how Earthbound is. So, well, at least in the beginning, but, you know, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I picked them up a copy because uh, they don't have the resources to find a good copy for a fair price they don't have the super awesome game stores we have yeah they, they don't have you know five booksmans in within an hour and a half of yeah all right well, let's talk about this this is exciting i love it when you buy toys you're always when we go do this you're always the one buying toys oh man i just uh you know anything 80s that i had a few of and wanted more as a child, <laughs> I, I, you know, these are modern versions of, of what I had. Um, you know, pops are very popular. I try not to collect pops. I'm not a pop collector, but I have the He-Man and Battle Cat pop. So oh, yeah, you bought, I need... you bought the Battle Cat last time we were together. <laughs> yep. So I, I saw it spotted the She-Ra, and I'm like, well, that's got to go oh, with He-Man and Battle Cat. <laughs> we all get sucked into pops somehow or another. One, we're all going to have a few. So these are um, these are the the new version of the old toys of the the She-Ra collection in particular. Um, I have a pretty nice retro collection of the original ones, but uh, Daniel got me a couple of these for Christmas, so now he's he started a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> so now I gotta collect them all as well. Um, so th these are actually She-Ra's friends. Uh, this one's Flutterina. She's got butterfly wings. That's and awesome. A sword and shield, you know, because they're awesome. And Glimmer was a pretty main character of the side characters. Um, she's more of like kind of a sorceress. That's awesome. Well, uh, do you have a Masters of the Universe shelf area in your gamer here, room here yet? Or is that something you're working on? I have a small DVD sh shelf right now that has the... The He-Man box set that I will continue my my landscape of. Gotcha. And I will add the She-Ra pop. Well, we'll definitely have to see an update of that one of these days. But go ahead and tell me before we move on, what was your favorite thing you came home today with? Um, Is it a... This, you've got a lot to pick from. <laughs> you know, I have been looking high and low for this. Yeah. And Daniel found this for me for... 
I, I'm talking at least three years I've been trying to hunt this down and there's one more left and I've just I've never seen this in person that's awesome well just, I look I look forward to seeing all of them put together I want to see the mural yeah isn't that that's, cool that's half the reason I collect my Dragon Ball Z VHS because there's giant murals on them okay Hannah what was your favorite thing tough question <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one I'm more excited about the GameCube one really <laughs> yeah <laughs> just because we don't have a ton of GameCube games. I've never played a Bratz game, so I have no yeah. idea what I'm getting into yeah, here. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to check it out real soon. Uh, Dan, what was your favorite thing you came home with? I know we're known for RPGs and all that, but man, I love me a good shoot 'em up, and Ray Storm's a classic PS1 shoot 'em up, so uh, that's going to be fun. That's awesome. And it's such a cool cover. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go with. Pick carefully. Monster, Monster Rancher. I mean, I love my Yu Gi Oh stuff, but uh, I think I actually. I think I can safely say I have all American release Monster Rancher games now. Just a lot of the Game Boy ones are not complete in box. So now begins the process of going back and replacing those, selling those off and buying complete in box for the Game Boy stuff. But I'm there. I love this series so much. I don't know if I recommend it because it's weird. It's just a nostalgia thing for me, but that's that's awesome. Uh, but that's it, guys. Before we get out of here, do me a huge favor. Uh, go follow these guys on Instagram. Uh, they have a pretty cool Instagram account where they post a lot of stuff about RPGs in their game collection here. Um, and they do some cool stuff over there. So it'll be worth your time. I'll uh, drop a link below and just go click on it and go follow them. We're going to definitely be making some more content together in the future because they've got a really cool collection. And uh, I've, I've, I think the first time we met or after we met and came over here to your place, I was like, dude, I want to do a game room tour of your room. And we still really need to do that one of these days because I just have so many questions. And, <laughs> and honestly, I ask these guys dozens of questions every time I come over here. What's this? What's that? And I still have questions. So we need to put that on video one of these days. But thanks for hanging out with us. Absolutely. That was a blast. Uh, I think it's only fitting that you guys were here for our 3000 game uh, celebration because we have like the exact same size collection they're really like much, yeah. we've grown our collections like at the same rate pretty consistently it's so much so like we have like the same amount of shelves really and we're <laughs> always talking about how we're gonna we're, him and i are always texting about how we're gonna rearrange it and like it's just we're collector buddies you know but that's it guys thank you for hanging out with us hit the subscribe button before we get out of here help us on our way to twenty thousand subs because this is really you know kind of our last celebration of 10,000 subs. We got to get back to work now, right? We got to go and wait and uh, I'll see you there. I'll see you at 20,000 subs. I don't know what we're going to do to celebrate that. Probably go buy actually for three, for 20,000 subs, I'll actually just buy 3,000 video games at once. How about that? Deal? Yeah. Someone's well, going to, it's so, been said. Somebody's going to hold me too when yeah. the video gets here. Uh, but that's it. Come back tomorrow because we do post daily videos on this channel. And until tomorrow, peace out.